Mock and we are beginning your news hour with continuing coverage at the Richland County Jail as the Richland County Coroner's Office has now identified the detainee who died inside the jail on Saturday. The department says she was being held in a cell alone. We're learning that from the Richland County uh, Jail. News 19's Zoe Henry is there live outside of the jail now with more details on what we've learned today. Zoe. Her name was LaRoyal Harley. She was just 20 years old, according to the Richland County Coroner. But News 19 is still looking for answers as far as how someone so young died behind bars here at this jail after just being here for a few days. Aside from her name, age, the date she was detained, and the charges against LaRoyal Harley, Richland County has not been able to answer other questions News 19 asked. The Richland County government says she was placed in jail on February 29th. Among the charges are gun possession and firing a gun into a home. She was inside the jail for at least three days. On Saturday, March 2nd, around 10 p.m., LaRoyal Harley was found in her cell unresponsive. According to the county sheriff's department, she was alone. The Richland County Sheriff's Office says Harley had a self-inflicted wound, but the Richland County Coroner's Office has not confirmed her cause of death. In addition to her cause of death, News 19 asked why she was placed in a cell alone, her behavior status, and if she was on suicide watch. According to Richland County, she was not under any mental watch, but adds there are no further details about why she was placed in a cell alone. Again, for clarification, the Richland County Coroner has not confirmed a cause of death as far as how LaRoya Harley died here at this jail Saturday night. Um, as more details come available, we'll let you know. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX.